back. You're watching our special coverage of Maha Battle 2014. For this segment, I want to focus on Haryana, where the three Lals are gone for the first time in their absence since the state was formed in 1967. A three-cornered fight between uh, the INLD, the Congress and the BJP. And those are images this morning of Bhupendar Singh Huda, who's always quick to challenge one to a game of tennis or badminton. He's out current chief minister fighting for a third term will the people of Haryana give him a third term like they gave to Sheila Dikshit or Tarun Gogai or is he on his way out before we go any further let's take a look at what's at stake in the battle for Haryana A high-stakes battle for Haryana, a no-holds-barred multi-cornered contest involving 1.63 crore voters. And unlike in the past, the BJP is hoping to emerge as a leading contender riding on the Modi factor. And the fight is no longer limited between traditional players, the Congress and the INLD. The BJP hopes to build on its Lok Sabha poll success where it captured seven of the eight seats that it contested. Modi's aggressive campaign and the BJP snapping ties with the Haryana Janhit Congress were aimed at this very goal. The Congress is eyeing a third win in a row, hoping that its development card will trump anti-incumbency. It also hopes to benefit from the inability of the opposition to project a joint front. Main opposition, the INLD, is seeking to return to power after a decade. The party is betting big on consolidation of the Jat votes. It's also trying to play the imprisonment of its supremo Om Prakash Chautala in a craft case to its advantage. Chautala had brazenly flouted norms by campaigning for his party despite being on a medical bail. Former Union Minister Vinod Sharma led Jan Chetna party and former MP Kuldeep Bishnoi's Haryana Janhit have formed an alliance, banking mainly on consolidation of the non-Jat votes. Independent MLA Gopal Kanda's Haryana Lokhit party, the BSP, and the left parties are also in the fray. Bureau Report, headlines today. I want to go across to three of our correspondents in Haryana for a sense of what's happening on the ground. Starting with Manamang Singh China, Chandigarh Bureau Chief is joining us from Sirsa, the headquarters of the Dera Satya Sauda. Joining us also this morning is Ashar Khan from Rotak. Now, Rotak is the bastion of the Hudas. This is Jatland. This is the most pampered constituency in Haryana and other parts of Haryana feel neglected at the expense of uh, Rotak. Also with us this morning is Ankit Tyagi from the urban island of Gurgaon. I want to go across first to Manaman Singh China because the Dera Satya Sauda over the past couple of days has come out and openly backed the BJP. They've backed the Congress in previous elections. This time they've gone out and they're rooting for the BJP. How much of a late impact do you think the Dera Satya Sauda's endorsement will have on the BJP, which opinion polls showed, Manaman, was lagging to the INLD. Polls showed the INLD in poll position, the BJP coming a close, but at number two. Do you think the Dera Satya Sauda's support will change that to some extent, Manaman? Well, this late uh, uh, statement of support, Rahul, which has come from Dera Satcha Sauda, might just queer the pitch for the BJP. They would certainly would have, uh, the party would have welcomed had the Dera Satcha Sauda come out with an unequivocal statement much earlier in the campaign. Because last time in Punjab, too, the Dera came out with a statement of support for Congress pretty late and it did not help the Congress at all. So the BJP might be hoping that it would get a shot in the arm uh, by this statement, even if it is late. Uh, but it is too early to say uh, if it is in indeed going to have any effect on ground at all. But the DERA does have large number of supporters in the state of Haryana. It commands a uh, lot of following. And if this appeal to vote for BJP comes through, uh, then it might just work for BJP. It might just. Okay. Ashar Khan, in the Lok Sabha elections, we saw the Congress being routed in virtually all parts of the state. The one area they held on to was Rotak, where you are at this time. We're seeing a clash, a fierce clash over Jat votes with Bhupender Singh Huda trying to retain uh, his support amongst the Jats. But INLD Chief Om Prakash Chautala also running a very successful campaign based on sympathy. The fact that he's in jail, that the Jats have been wrong because all he did was try and give them jobs and he ended up in jail. Is that card working successfully? Where do you see the Jats of the Rotak belt go in this election? Ashar. 
well uh, uh, well uh, we've seen that when uh, om prakash chautala was the chief minister uh, there uh, people say that there was a lot of uh, law and order issue which was there in the last 10 years in the stronghold of uh, the hudas and the jats that is uh, uh, if you take the divisions of rohtak bhiwani jhajjar and sonipat the entire dominant jat land we've seen that there is a lot of uh, work which uh, the current chief minister has done and there has been a lot of prosperity also in this area so that is what uh, uh, bupender singh hoda is banking on and remember that uh, it was only rohtak parliamentary constituency which is represented by his son uh, dipender hoda that was saved in the last uh, uh, lok sabha elections which took place In the battle between the Jats and the non-Jats, do the urbanites of Gurgaon feel that their concerns are neglected? Ankit Tiagi, you are in Gurgaon this morning, and we're seeing a fierce face-off. The Congress, the INLD, and the BJP squaring off for top honors. Do the urban constituents of Gurgaon feel that their their requirements are neglected by the political parties in this highly caste-dominated state? Well, uh, Rahul uh, Gurgaon, in fact, uh, is a very unique uh, as far as this whole uh, equation goes. Uh, it is a mix of urban and, of course, rural population. I am uh, at a place. Uh, the the polling station is in a village, but most of the voters are from the urban areas of uh, sector 51, 49, and other places. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this is this is something that Bhupinder Singh Hooda is also showcasing as uh, one of his successful models. Apart from uh, the investment and the attention that Rohtak and the Home Belt has received, Gurgaon, the way they have. Uh, developed it uh, they are uh, projecting it as a successful model on the other hand ind also holds uh, a sway here but very interestingly bjp is dominant in the south uh, gurgaon region and uh, uh, also in the entire south haryana region from gurgaon from mewat uh, uh, to other places let me just quickly show you around uh, this is uh, uh, booth number 239 240 240 1 uh, here uh, there has been brisk voting since morning a lot of people have been coming in a mix of urban and rural population that is uh, uh, coming in here Uh, but uh, uh, very interestingly there have been a lot of enthusiasm in voters and especially uh, uh, after 2014 uh, lok sabha elections gurgaon was a place where uh, bjp saw an upsurge uh, it was very surprising when the bjp uh, of being at an abysmal 17% in 2009 uh, dhan sabha election they rose up to 34.5% as far as uh, uh, the last uh, lok sabha elections are concerned and they are hoping that with even without uh, a massive cadre base even without a big face this uh, wave the modi wave will still be able to put them through at least in the areas of gurgaon and south haryana well the bjp is traditionally been weaker in the rural parts of haryana it's mostly been an urban phenomena they've tended to lean on the support of the inld or the ajc to try and make up for the lack of support in rural haryana they don't have a face in haryana or in maharashtra no one candidate who can be projected to be the chief minister of either of these two states they are riding and fighting solely on the popularity and the heft of narendra modi if modi were to be able to pull this off it would truly be a remarkable victory because it goes against the grain of what the bjp said so far that you need a chief ministerial candidate to win the bjp is mocked the congress for not having chief ministerial candidates now they are changing the equation can modi pull it off this is prime minister modi's first big electoral test we focused for the past few minutes on haryana we're slipping into a break we return to maharashtra we are here in hot humid sultry mumbai we've got crack political analysts and politicians joining us to discuss maha battle 2014